नमस्कार आई एम डी वेलकम डेली वेदर ब्रीफिंग प्रोग्राम टुडे इज एट मे एंड वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट ट्वेंटी फोर आवर्स रियलाइज वेदर वेदर सिस्टम्स वेदर फॉरकास्ट एंड वार्निंग्स फॉर नेक्स्ट फाइव डेज सो यस्टरडे हैवी रेनफॉल एट एशोलेट फेसिस हैज बीन ऑब्जर्व हुआ अंडमान टू आइलैंड्स विद द लॉन्ग आइलैंड द नाइन सेंटीमीटर एंड माया वन पॉइंट सिक्स सेंटीमीटर एंड बॉर्डर रेनफॉल हैज आल्सो बीन रिपोर्टेड ओवर तमिलनाडु yesterday thunder squall also reported at as much process over and on the islands under the influence of uh, yesterday depression and today cyclone system so highlights of today's briefing is accordingly that uh, cyclone storm asani over southeast bay bengal and place is well of heat wave conditions likely to commence over northwest and central india from tomorrow that is 9th may 2022 So these are the synoptic systems prevailing today over different parts of the country. You can see that uh, other than this cyclone which storm was near over the southeast Bay of Bengal, there are two cyclone circulations over one over northwest Madhya Pradesh and another over south coast Andhra Pradesh in lower troposphere levels. And there is also a westerly trough running over uh, Bangladesh and Nepal road. Uh, Uh, between 3.1 and 5.8 km of mean sea levels location is uh, roughly 90 degree east and uh, 22 degree north so the for this uh, cyclone storm uh, situation we will uh, see here this is cyclone storm asni pronounced as asni over southeast of bengal moved northwest parts with a speed of 13 km during past 6 hours and this entered at uh, 8:30 hours ist of today Over the same region, near latitude 11.4 degree north and longitude 89.1 degree east, about 48 km west northwest of Karnataka, 400 km west of Port Blair, 940 km southeast of Visakhapatnam, and 1000 km south southeast of Puri. And uh, it is likely to move northwest parts and intensify further into a severe cyclone storm over East Central Bay of Bengal during next 12 hours. It is. very likely to continue to move northwest part till 10th may evening and reach the central and adjoining northwest bay of bengal of north andhra pradesh and odisha coast near upper it is very likely to recur north northeast parts and move towards northwest bay of bengal of odisha coast so this is the uh, cyclone this storm and its forecast and uh, now this is the track of uh, cyclone this storm you can see that uh, Uh, this is the track. Uh, you can see that uh, this uh, black one is showing this observed, and the red one is the forecasted track. And the track is also available in GIS permit uh, on our website RSNC. You can visit, you can see, you can use, and uh, also this is the forecasted track and intensity along with wind, along with the uh, quadrant wind distribution over southeast Bay of Bengal based on three UTC of eight May. So this is all about uh, cyclone storm and its track. Now go to the rainfall warning associated with the cyclone storm. So on 10th May, light to moderate rainfall at a few places, likely with heavy rainfall at isolated places over coastal Odisha and adjoining areas of north coastal Andhra Pradesh from 10th evening. And 11th May, light to moderate rainfall at a few places with heavy rainfall at isolated places, very likely over coastal Odisha and adjoining coastal areas of north Andhra Pradesh and West Bengal. On 12th May. Light to moderate rainfall likely at a few places with heavy rainfall at some places likely over coastal areas of Odisha and West Bengal. So, association with this system, this wind wind warning has been issued. And on 8th May, gale wind speed reaching uh, 70 to 80 gusting to 90 kmph likely to prevail over southeast and adjoining east central Bay of Bengal and would gradually increase reaching 95, 105, and gusting to 115 low kmph over the same region during 8th May night. Its quality wind speed 40 to 50 gusting to 60 kmph likely to prevail over Andaman Islands. On 9th May, gale wind speed reaching 105 to 115 kmph gusting to 125 kmph likely to prevail over central parts of Bay of Bengal. On 10th May, gale gale wind speed reaching 95 105 gusting to 115 likely to prevail over around system center over west central and adjoining northwest Bay of Bengal. And is quality wind speed reaching 40 to 50 gusting to 60 kmph likely along and off north Andhra Pradesh coast. On 11th May, gale wind speed reaching 80 to 90 gusting to 100 kmph likely to prevail over northwest and adjoining west central Bay of Bengal. Is quality wind speed reaching 40 to 50 gusting to 60 kmph likely along and off Odisha and adjoining uh, north Andhra Pradesh coasts. 
On 12th May, Gail wind speed reaching 60-70 gusting to 80 km/h, likely to travel over northwest of Bangla. Ispali wind speed reaching 40 to 50 gusting to 60 km/h, likely along the end of Odisha coast. So these are the wind warnings. Accordingly, the are advised not to venture into these areas, and those who are in deep sea to come back to the coast. Accordingly, sea conditions also issued. Sea conditions is very likely to become high to very high over southeast and at the east central of Bengal and the sea condition over Andaman Sea would gradually improve becoming high, becoming up. And on 9th May, sea condition is likely to become high to very high over central parts of Bengal. On 10th May, sea condition is likely to become high to very high over west central and the northwest northwest and east central of Bengal. On 11th May, sea condition is likely to become high to very high over northwest and the west central of Bengal. On 12th May, sea condition is likely to become high to very high over northwest of Bengal. So these are the sea conditions accordingly. Fishermen are advised not to venture into East Central and Southeast of Bengal at the East and the Sea on 8th May. And fishermen are advised not to venture into Central parts of Bengal on 9th and 10th May and over North of Bengal from 10th May to 12th May 2022. And fishermen out at sea are advised to return to the coast. Accordingly, action suggested for Andaman Equivalents on today, that is 10th, 8th May, total suspension of fishing and provision activity, check for traffic congestion on your route before leaving for your destination, follow any traffic advisories. Avoid going to areas that face water logging and avoid staying in water logging structures and uh, accordingly regulate offshore activities. So these are the burning graphics. Uh, so you can see that uh, thunderstorm negative activities are expected over parts of northeast India and south central India and Uttarakhand and East Uttar Pradesh today. And heat wave conditions likely over Rajasthan and the northern parts of Madhya Maharashtra today. And heavy rainfall has already mentioned that uh, expected over Andaman Islands on today and uh, Wind warning has already mentioned, and tomorrow heat wave conditions likely to prevail over Rajasthan, West Madhya Pradesh, Vidarbha, and North northern parts of Madhya Maharashtra, and thunderstorm activity likely to continue over southern parts of uh, southern southern South Central India and uh, parts of Northeast India, and uh, on tenth heat wave conditions likely to continue over Rajasthan, West Madhya Pradesh, and uh, Vidarbha, and uh, on eleventh as well, and likely to continue over. This regions on 12th as well. However, during 11th, 10th, 11th, and 12th, there is a possibility of heat wave conditions over southern parts of Punjab, southern parts of Haryana, and uh, Delhi, in addition to the these mats of regions which I have already mentioned. So these are the heat wave conditions and thunderstorms. Now go to the heavy rainfall warning. So heavy rainfall is expected uh, over uh, this uh, Tamil Nadu today and also on Naman Islands and tomorrow. Heavy rainfall is expected over uh, Assam, Meghalaya, and Nagaland, Manipur, Mizoram, Tripura, and Assam, places, and also over Tamil Nadu. And uh, on uh, 10th, uh, it is expected over coastal Visa and uh, northern parts of coastal Andhra Pradesh, and also over uh, northeast India. And uh, heavy rainfall on 11th, it is expected at isolated places over northeast India, west, and west Bengal, coastal Visa, and northern parts of coastal Andhra Pradesh. And on 12th, it is expected uh, heavy rainfall over coastal Visa. West Bengal, Gangetic West Bengal, and Northeast India. So these are the heavy rainfall warnings. And accordingly, also I have here uh, placed uh, this uh, fisherman warning graphics uh, for uh, radio reference. And this is available also on our website RSMC. You can refer for easy understanding. So this is uh, all about uh, today's uh, briefing. And uh, it is requested you can download our different apps and visit our website, RSMC website, mosamimg.org.org dot in website facebook twitter for update of the cyclone storm over here Bengal. so thank you we will meet again tomorrow with another episode of daily weather briefing till then namaskar